Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for your Aurora Scientific 300C Dual Mode Lever System. Take care when opening the box and look for the following contents. The electronics box, the servo motor, the lever arm and allen key, the motor cable, and the power cable. Once you have chosen an appropriate location for the equipment, such as an instrument rack or laboratory shelving, you can proceed to set up and test your dual mode lever system. Plug the power cable into the rear panel of the electronics box. Next, mount the motor to your test apparatus with four screws, as shown here on our 800A in vitro apparatus. If you are not using the ASI apparatus, contact us for further information regarding mounting solutions. Next, take the lever arm and carefully slide it onto the motor shaft. Leave a small gap between the lever arm and the motor's case. Take your Allen key and tighten the screw on the lever arm. The angle of the lever arm is arbitrary to the bath apparatus, but may require some adjustment. Next, connect the motor cable to the pigtail of the motor. Then, connect the other end of the cable to the input labeled motor. Be sure to tighten up the screws at the connectors with a slotted screwdriver. Before turning the instrument on, let's verify some front panel settings. First, the length offset should be set to 5. The force offset should be set clockwise at 10. The inhibit switch should be set to the stop position. Now we are ready to turn the unit on. Flip the front panel switch on. All status indicator lights to the left of the power switch should be glowing red. Slowly move the lever arm back and forth. You should feel almost no resistance. Observe the length out display as you move the lever arm. You should see the display move between negative 12 and positive 12 volts. Flip the inhibit switch to the run position. Both the inhibit and fault lights should turn off. Both the length and force out displays should also read near zero. Go back and tap the lever arm. You should now feel plenty of resistance. The force out display should change significantly as well. You are now ready to integrate your dual mode lever system into the rest of your experimental setup. Please refer to our other setup and introductory videos for further information.